So I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience of astral traveling, um, the out-of-body experience. Um, this was uh, spring of 1992 that I came across Robert Monroe's book, Journeys Out of the Body. And then he has another book called Far Journeys um, that uh, takes things even further. But uh, it's a really fascinating account of um, someone who experimented with uh, astral travel for years and really just zipped all around the universe and had some really wild and crazy experiences. Um, so I um, uh, read through his book and then at some point, I think at the end of the book somewhere is a um, sort of instructional section on how to um, make astral tra traveling happen. And so I read his series of instructions um, and with little success uh, shortly thereafter, nothing, nothing happened. Um, but then months later, I was uh, having an afternoon nap and um, all of a sudden I, I seemed to wake up in the middle of the nap. Um, and, uh, but the weird thing is that I was facing the wall. Um, so I, I wake up and like the wall is like right here, like a couple inches from my face and I'm like, what's going on? I certainly didn't go to sleep, you know, in that position. And then uh, somehow I, I suddenly realized that this wasn't the wall that I was facing, this was the ceiling. Um, and so I was hovering, you know, uh, facing upwards with my uh, face right up against the ceiling. Um, and with that realization, then I, uh, it kind of freaked me out and I suddenly, you know, the thought that, you know, if I were to turn around or turn over, that I'd see my own body lying there on the bed, you know, just kind of freaked me out. And so I came back into my body and woke up. And then... Uh, nothing, nothing much happened for the next several months, but then uh, it started happening kind of spontaneously uh, on a regular basis. So the, over the course of the next um, week or ten days or something like that, it was happening almost every night, and it would just be very brief little, little, um, little excursions. I'd never like got beyond my room, and I never got to the point where I actually like turned and saw my own body lying there. Um, but I remember, remember very distinctly just kind of sort of hovering, hovering around the room and, you know, just uh, going off to the other side of the room and seeing the floor and everything. Um, and, uh, but it was definitely not a dream. It's a very different uh, state of being. In one sense, you're fully conscious. It's a different sort of consciousness, um, but there's really no comparison to the dream state. So I feel very, very certain that it was, it was you know, a real, a real experience. And there was experience that preceded it um, right before the actual out-of-body state that is basically indescribable, but it's that feeling of your spirit separating from your body um, that uh, is just so distinct and, you know, there's something like very freeing about it. Um, it, it felt very natural, even though it was so bizarre. Um, but, um, but after the course of a week or whatever of experiencing this on a regular basis every night, then I started to feel just very ungrounded and uh, um, just kind of out of sorts during the day, and so I decided that it just wasn't the best thing for me. And so I basically just, you know, willed, willed it to stop, just decided I've had enough of this for now, um, and I've never had any uh, out-of-body experiences since then. Um, but just that brief um, period of time of experiencing it was very much a powerful confirmation of um, the astral realm, of the fact that we do have a spirit and a soul, um, that, uh, that it feels very natural, um, even though it was weird, you know, um, and I was kind of uncomfortable with it once I actually got out there, you know, it was, then, uh, you know, it, it just didn't feel quite right, even though, even though it didn't feel, you know, like there was anything to be afraid of, it was just, you know, very strange. Um, so, um, even though I didn't get very far, I'm definitely thankful that, um, I was able to just experience that and uh, see into that other dimension even if just for a little bit.